Hello everybody and today we're going to talk about file pickers or in our case folder pickers and folder pickers essentially just let you access this, our, your, essentially your file explorer um, and then so you can pick a file or you can pick a folder depending on how you code it out so as an example in our file snatch here um, we make you pick folders here and they are sticky so I usually have some type of default folder that would come up the first time you use it which is this long yucky one here uh, or you can I can have a sticky one which is essentially after you pick the first one is this is all done for you um, automatically uh, so the stickiness will actually occur just because you're using the Windows folder picker so if I click on this and let's say I click on this file and I select this folder sure enough it puts it in there if I go back into it and do a get to this time it's going to put the get to here um, but as you can see it went right back into that folder so how do you do this? Well, first, well, the first thing I should do is tell you to do is su or suggest for you to do is to put in Windows Storage Pickers uh, at the top. So that's in your library statements to kind of grab that so you can use it because that activates this guy, a folder picker, which is essentially the main crux of how you're going to do it. So as you can see here, I'm using the variable designation for the data type and f calling it folder picker not <laughs> exactly the, the most uh, creative of names but I was kind of doing this fast so I create this folder picker called folder picker and it gives it a suggested one so I, I like to suggest that it starts at the desktop uh, in this case if you look real closely the desktop is going to be based on the user so that's why you can see my name here the filter type I just put the star meaning you know the wild card it's, it's all okay so now you got the picker set up but the problem is that now you have to be able to associate what you with what you picked with an actual folder so here you go again it, we were saying we use Windows Storage Pickers, you're going to use the Windows Storage Library. Uh, in this case, I just spelt it all out with the dots, with the storage folder. Um, if you put that up there in the library, you won't have to, you wouldn't have to put the, that first part in before, before the two periods. So, uh, the storage folder, we're going to call the, uh, another creative name called folder. And we're going to say folder picker, which remember was this guy up here and it says pick single folder async if so now you have a folder picker it's associated with the folder with whatever you picked is now called folder and it's going to go in I just in case there's an error I just say well let's make sure there's there's something in folder before we do the rest of this stuff and as you can see I got the wonderful try catch just in case anything else is going to go wrong too if there is something in there, if there is something that you name folder, this will say, will go into this long thing. So it looks long, but, well, it is long. Who's kidding who? This is, this is long. And this uh, is really just one line. And we're using what's referred to as a future access list. And the future access list is just a list that's associated with this app where you can store stuff in this case I'm going to store that folder into the future access list that will be nice because when you bring the when you bring the application back up and run it again it will be there so in other words right now we have get to here and then we're gonna what we're gonna do is just bring a file snatch again and there you go um, get to shows up again so it actually puts it in that future access list and then it can just bring it back in when you get in again which is a nice thing for the user so they don't have to start over every time lastly what we'll do is do a parent directory text which actually comes from my the older version of file snatch and um, there we'll just lay out the path of that folder which is p 
piece of text right here, that folder.path, it's a string. So this is just to get the information back to the user. Now, if there is nothing in there, which, which you can do, sometimes I'll do that, and I'll hit cancel. What you'll see is you get no directory chosen. That was a problem in the old one, because if there's nothing chosen, then something could go oh, terribly wrong. <laughs> you know, or, you know, obviously it just wouldn't run. But also that's good for here. I kept it in it for here because sometimes you, if someone does pick a directory or a folder, it, uh, they might not want it to all go here, or they might not want to take it from here. So they might accidentally, uh, move a bunch of data or copy a bunch of data that they really didn't mean to by forcing them to pick an actual directory then they'll know they'll get they're getting those actual directories as opposed to oh I thought I was doing this but I guess I hit cancel instead of save or pick and that is pretty much folder picking in a nutshell I hope this helps all right thanks hey if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button to our channel this would help us out greatly if you'd like to support us in other ways, our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the Microsoft Store. See the links below. We appreciate your support. Thanks.